Okay, this is VR inventory, and there's items all around this scene for me to pick up. The one over here is the sword. Now, the sword is equipable, so that means it can you can put it into your hand and use it. And then there's gold coins down here. Now, gold, of course, that's not equipable. Uh, it's just going to go up to infinite, and uh, you can carry as much as you can find. And then there's health potions which only go up to a stack of five. So I can pick up the uh, health potions here. And then to, op to see the inventory, you just look down. So uh, looking around and then look down to open up the inventory. So you can see that I have four coins of sword and the health potions. Let me pick up the mana potions. Now the mana potions are set up just to be in uh, stacks of one. Um, so you can set up your stack size, whether items are equipable. And then over here we've got the key. And here's some more gold, but uh, it's, a, it's a 3D model of five coins, so it's just one item. But when I, when I pick it up, it gives me five coins. And there we go, I've picked up all the items in the game. So when I look down, I can see my inventory. And uh, first of all, let's take care of this guy over here. Now, in order to take care of him, I'm going to have to get my sword out. So I'm going to select my sword and uh, clicking will attack. So I'm going to go over by the enemy and attack him. Clicking also walks. So it's not the perfect setup in the demo, um, but it sh it, uh, it's tried to show that how all the items work. So to put the sword away, I'm going to put uh, just select it in the inventory again and that puts it away. And now let's use some health potions. You can see that the stack is going down. Um, but now I'm full on health, so I can't take any more. And if you want to see the next page of items, you just select these arrows. And then you can also um, click and drag. But that's kind of hard, because you might click on an item. Um, so that's what the arrows are for. They, they work a lot nicer. So you can see that when I open up the inventory, it takes some mana potions. Those are disappearing from the inventory. Okay, now my mana is full. My health is full. I can't take any more of those. I've already killed the enemy, so the next thing to do is to go through the door. Now it says equip the key to go through the door, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the inventory. There's the key, and we're going to walk through the door. And it opens up the, opens up the door. So that's all the demo scene uh, sh sh can show you, the how all those items work. Let's jump into Unity and see how that is set up. Okay, so here in Unity, we have the VR inventory uh, game object, which just has the VR inventory script on it. And there's a few options to set up here. The main one is the database. So when you um, set up your game, you have to create this database of all the items in your game. And so we can set options like equipable, the stack size, um, the number of stacks you're allowed to carry in your inventory, what type of sound it uses, and then it's pickup distance, whether you have to be close, nearby, or far away to pick it up. Um, so there's the options. You can give it a icon, of course, and then uh, the name. So you can see that I have my gold, my health potion, mana potion, and sword in the key set up correctly. And, of course, you can see the key, the sword are equipable. Uh, the mana potion and health potion are not. And, of course, the coin is not either. So that's how you set up your items and once that's done you just go into your scene and on a, an object like the sword you add the uh, object or the script inventory item and so then of course you have to select your database but because there's a sword in the database we can select which one of the items that this is of course and this is the sword and its quantity so the quantity applies to the coins over here where we have one 3D model of five coins. And so we say that this is a coin and that it has a quantity of five. So, of course, the, the key is set up the same way as an inventory item. So it's pretty simple to set up. It shouldn't be, uh, it should be pretty easy to populate your items, add the 3D model into the scene, and then uh, tell, the, tell the inventory system what item that is. So... I hope this pack helps you out. There's also a second video, which is an in-depth tutorial. Check that one out, and see you guys in the next video.